Hi friends! I have an idea for a card that I want to make using the Playing in the Rain and the Crafting with You stamp set. So this is a card on the fly. It's an idea I haven't tried, but I thought this is going to be one of those videos where I'm just going to put the camera on and if it works out, then I'm going to publish the video. If not, <laughs> then you're never going to see this video. But I thought... Uh, I thought it'd be really cute to combine these two stamp sets together. So I am just going to dive right in and I'm going to start by stamping this easel stamp from the Crafting With You, which also has um, a coordinating die. So let me go ahead and pull this out. It is so much fun playing with these new stamps. In all the years that I've been a demonstrator, that has never gotten um, boring. It's always exciting, and I always feel like a kid in a candy store when I get new stamps from Stampin' Up. All right, so we have that. I'm pulling in my foam mat. Since this is a photopolymer stamp, I want to get good coverage and a piece of scrap basic white. I am going to stamp this, I do believe, with my Memento ink pad. Okay. I'm looking out my window and I'm seeing snow. Oh my goodness. And we had beautiful weather on the weekend and now it's snowing. So what? better thing to do on a snowy day in May but to stamp a card except I didn't want that little bit so I'm gonna do it again next I am going to stamp the flowers that are in this stamp set and I actually love these flowers I'll show you a card I made the other day um, I did post it on my blog now the butterflies have the butterfly dies have retired um, but I know a lot of you have them and then I use the new circle sayings stamp set and of course our boho blue in color designer series paper and cardstock so um, I just wanted to show you a fun way you can use this flower image from this stamp set I think I'm gonna be using that an awful lot all right so let's just stick that on and let's play with some new colors berry burst so I'm just doing my marker direct to the stamp, which is what I think most people are going to probably end up doing with this stamp, but it'd be pretty embossed in gold and silver too. All right, and garden green, because that's a nice, beautiful, bright green. And I don't think this ink will have dried, but I'm going to huff on it so that if it has dried any moisture in my breath will re-moisten that ink. I'm gonna bring in the new Lemon Lolly, which is a gorgeous yellow. I'm just gonna add some yellow to the centers. So that part's done. Now I'm going to bring in my little turtle and I'm gonna stamp my turtle with the uh, Memento ink as well. And both these pieces are gonna be die cut. Bringing this stamp set in, I'm going to stamp the paint brushes. Do you guys kinda of have an idea where I'm going with this? I want this card to look like the turtle is the artist let's do some coloring I'm gonna grab some uh, blender pens stamp and blend so let's start with the light granny apple green and we will use some dark granny apple green here my dark old olive go on top of that dark granny apple just to add a bit of shading and then I'll go over with the color lifter just to blend that all in now I'm 
bringing in my light Lost Lagoon new color actually it's a returning color I'm happy it's back probably didn't need to put that first layer of green on on the shell but that's okay dark Lost Lagoon just kind of here and there Blend all that in as well with the uh, color lifter. And I think I'm just going to use my dark smoky slate for the rest of his shell. And work those colors in. I'm just adding a little bit onto the gray just to break up the gray lift up some of that color so that will kind of give me two different shades work that in a little bit more over here I'm using the fine tip of my color lifter it's easier to get in all the little nooks and crannies all right I think that's my my turtle done and I'm just going to bring in some, um, some of my blue Stampin' Blend markers just to color in the paintbrushes. I'm going to use different colors for the paintbrushes. I'm starting off with the Light Night of Navy. I don't even know if I'm going to be using all these paintbrushes, to be honest. But just, just to add some color. Because I have Berry Burst um, ink here, I'm going to take my marker and add a little bit of berry burst on the tip of that paintbrush. And I'm going to take some garden green and put some garden green on this paintbrush. And then lastly, I'm going to use my light smoky slate just to finish coloring in these paintbrushes. Just going to keep it simple. Unfortunately, my die cut moved, so I'm actually going to restamp and recut recut that. Hundred percent better, perfect. So here is the cardstock that I'm going to be using for the card, basic white, and I've just pulled out colors that I used on my stamping which is this not a beautiful color combination berry burst granny apple green and garden green my mama that is some pretty color combination I will be using over and over so I am going to make this into my card base so I am going to score it at five and a half Spin it around and cut it at four and a quarter. So I actually have two card bases. I will save this for another card. And then I'm going to take my white and I'm going to cut it down to measure five and a quarter by four. And my garden green. I am going to cut this at, uh, let's see. I'm going to do this one at four and three quarters by uh, three and a half. And then I'm going to cut this one at three and a quarter by, what did I say my green piece was now? four and three quarters so we're going to do four and a half because I wanted a wider I can see I need to change my blades on this I wanted a wider border of white around those two layers now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my deckled rectangle dies which I'm actually not using on the card but I want to cut out that inside paper 
and then I can save that for another card because that's going to be hidden anyways. Okay, so I have cut out those layers and I'm going to set these aside for another card and I'm just going to go ahead and glue these on. Okay, I'm not going to put this on yet, but I do need to decide. Um, I think this is going to go landscape if this will fit. That will just fit if I don't overlap fits. Let's try it this way. And my turtle's gonna go here. Turtle can go off a little bit. I think that's pretty cute. So I think my card is going to go like that. So before I put the card on, I want to stamp my sentiment. And I am going to stamp, life is better when you're crafting. And I'm just going to stamp that with black. This is going to get put on with Stampin' Dimensionals. this down a little bit and I might even put it off a little bit because I want to make sure I'm not hiding that um, sentiment. So I might just snip a teeny tiny bit off of the end here. I'm going to glue this on. Now this little guy I want it to look like he's got a paintbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of fussy cutting. Alright, so our little turtle is going to go here. Let's see how we can incorporate these paintbrushes into his little hands. Well, first of all, he doesn't need all these paint brushes. So I'm going to cut I'm going to cut these out. Actually, I'm going to cut just one out. A little black line that was the stem of the flower. I am going to, uh, from the top, not the bottom. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to, I'm just going to go up and around just a bit because I don't want to cut this back part off. And let's see what it looks like if I tuck paintbrush behind so there it kind of looks like he's holding two paintbrushes but why would he be holding two paintbrushes so let's go ahead and cut these apart right, so what if we tuck this in just like that that's pretty darn cute and I like that one with the pink tip. So I think I'm going to do that. So I am going to put a little bit of glue, just a little bit on the back here. Whoops, that's not a little bit at all. I'm gonna grab these other paint brushes here because I might glue those on. So let's just trim that up. And stick that excess glue on these and then if I want to put it on the card I can eek I'm gonna get glue all over me okay let's just set that aside okay let's grab this paintbrush with the pink on it just tuck it in 
There we go. That's perfect. Okay, and some Stampin' Dimensionals. And I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue on the paintbrush. It doesn't have to be popped up. Push that paintbrush down. So cute. And I'm gonna have paintbrushes lying on the floor because he's a he's a messy painter. I'm gonna cut a tiny sliver of dimensional, just itty bitty sliver, and put that behind the paintbrush. The last paintbrush that I cut up. Before I call a day on this card, I want to try stamping this basket with some more paintbrushes and cut it out. Actually, there's a really cool little. Um, let me just show you. Look at this die. Come on now. For a basket. So I'm going to cut this out with some cardstock. And I'm going to bring in um, our new pecan pie cardstock. Just need a little bit. I'm just using my little mini die cutting machine. See how cute that is? So, what does that look like? I might have to snip some of that off. Okay, and I'm going to stamp some more paintbrushes. Okay. I'm going to glue this behind the basket and if I don't use it on this card I can definitely use it on a different card I'm just going to take this die cut that I had um, cut out because I want to lift up that stamp and dimensional so I'm just going to go back and forth underneath and then that lifts it up without tearing my cardstock bring this in now let's see what that's gonna look like oh my gosh that is so cute we're definitely doing it definitely doing it oh my goodness I tell ya I am so glad I decided to film this video because this is so cute I hope you guys are enjoying it um, now I do want some some bling on on that uh, painting so we'll pretend that he's adding embellishments so I'm gonna pull out some of my 2023-25 um, in color dots look how beautiful these are and I'm gonna pick up some yellow ones for the inside of the flowers journal to just add a little bit more black to his little eye. Inside of the card I'm going to stamp sending you a handmade hug. I'm going to stamp that with uh, Berry Burst. I've got a lot of ink on that block. And there's a little tiny flower in this stamp set. Where is it? Right here. I'm going to stamp that and uh, I'm going to stamp it with blue because there's a little bit of blue on the front of the card with the paint brushes so it'll kind of all coordinate. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use my Tahitian tie which is what that color is right there. Just add a pop of color inside the card and then 
let's add a little bit of blueberry bushel inside the center of that flower because I'm not going to add an embellishment inside the card and then my garden green for the leaves there we go you know we could stamp that on here too right let's do that oh my gosh just can't leave enough alone right but why not and then this can have an embellishment and then it's gonna pull in that blue right there oh I'm glad I added that blue it helps break up all that berry burst I think this is so cute okay let's bring these in again and this time I'm going to use, I think, the pink for the centers, or do we want to stick with yellow? Not pink. Do we want the blue? Uh, maybe. Yep, we'll do the blue. There. Okay, now my card is done. Or is it? Is it done? No, no it's not, why? Because we need to add some shimmer, folks. We need to add some shimmer. And we're gonna add some sh shimmer to the shawl. Okay, now I'm done. Now I'm done, can you see the shimmer? I hope so, because it's really pretty with that shimmer. I hope you enjoyed today's card. I, I know I had a lot of fun, and I am probably going to do a lot more videos like this where I just put the camera on and just stamp and see what happens. Just like when you're making a painting. Just let it evolve while the camera's rolling and hopefully I can inspire you guys and give you lots of ideas for your stamping, card making and projects at home. Take care and happy stamping.